Hello, and welcome to my Shona May Draw With Me series. In each episode, you'll be getting step-by-step -step art sessions on the fundamentals of drawing, coloring techniques, and animation. So get your drawing supplies ready because we're about to begin today's lesson. For today's lesson, you will need a lead pencil with a good eraser, a sketch pad or a blank sheet of paper, a table or desk with a nice flat surface to draw on, a room with good lighting, and a comfortable chair to sit in. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the basic face structure for the female character. So when we begin the face structure for the female character, just like how we did in the face structure for the male character, we're going to start off with a basic structure. And I'm going to create this using two layers because um, I want to keep the, the structure on one layer and make the finalized version of the face on another layer. With it being on the top layer, you'll be able to see how I did it. And um, I'll be able to show you both. So I'm just making a circular egg shape like oval here. I don't want to spend too much time on the structure piece being as though um, all you got to do is watch the male figure one to see how I did it. But I'm going to review it just a little here so you'll be able to follow along with me. So we make like an egg shape like circle for the shape of the head. Here we have our circular oval. Notice that I'm cleaning it up. And the, the brush tool that I'm using is very light. So it can give you the feel of a 2B pencil. And me sketching lightly. So anytime you start off any sketch, remember to start off light because there are going to be changes. And um, they're, 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 they will also be erasing. So if you're doing the face structure, the lines and everything that we create to create the face is going to be erased. Okay, now what we're gonna do is make a vertical line cutting the face in half. With me creating these lines, I'm not going to use a line tool because I wanna show you that um, whenever you create these lines, yes, it's going to be a little bit sloppy. It's okay to make mistakes. In my opinion, I believe that mistakes help you grow. So learn to embrace your mistakes sometimes so you can look back and, and see how you improved over time. And now that we made our vertical line cutting the face in half, we're going to cut the face in half again with a horizontal line. Just like how we did the male character. For the bottom line here, we're going to cut the this line in half that's inside the face. And then for the very bottom line, we're going to do the same thing again. Okay. Now I'm going to go back up to the top line here, the top horizontal line. And this line is going to be for our eyes. So always remember that the eyes are in the center of your head. They're not up here. Okay. This is where your forehead is. Okay, so your eyes are not located at the top of your head, but the center. And then if we have that center line, center line there, we're going to create an eye in the middle, turning this character into a cyclops. Keep in mind that the eye that's in the middle has to match the length of the head. If it doesn't match, match the length, it could be either too far apart or your eyes will be too close together. Okay, so make sure that you make that center eye match the length of the head meaning that it should be an eye that is going to be equal to um, whatever head size you started off with. All 
Okay, so now that we have this eye in the middle, we're going to create our other two eyes on each end of the eye that's in the middle. One. Two. Okay. So now we have our middle eye and then we have our two eyes. Okay, so the middle eye was just there to guide us. Now for the rest of uh, the illustration, I'm going to make it on the top layer. So you can see how I'm going to use my structure that's on the bottom here. And I'm going to use a darker outline. So let me just go over these lines again. On the top, on the bottom. Okay, so now let's throw our iris on here. And we're gonna put our pupils in the center. And then if we have our pupils, let's give this character some eyelids. Okay. Now, notice that I put the eyelids on after I put the iris and the pupils on there. The reason of me doing that is because there are some cases when people create their eye, they will have the eye and then they'll make the eyelid before they put the iris on it. Now the problem with this is that the iris is not gonna be centered to the entire eye, okay? The eyelid doesn't cover the iris this way. This eye will be more so looking downward a little. To get a more accurate um, illustration of an eyelid over your eye, would be to make the iris first. Your pupil and then throw the eyelid over it. Okay, so now you'll get a more accurate roundness of the iris and a more centered pupil than what you would if you used to throw the pupil and the iris on there afterwards after you put the eyelid. Okay, so that's just like a little note to keep in mind. Now, being as though this is a female character, what we want to do is um, add some eyelashes on her, okay? So when you draw the male character, you can get away with not giving him eyelashes, although we know that everyone has eyelashes. But um, for the female character, you, you definitely wanna put some eyelashes on her. Now, let's, um, now we have our eyelashes, let's go to her eyebrows. So for the eyebrows, what I wanna do is make them thinner. Okay. You know, when you give your girl character thinner eyebrows, what it does is it just enhances her feminine qualities. And for those people, individuals who has trouble drawing girls, um, that's just a, like a technique to keep in mind. You wanna make sure that you give her eye, her, make her eyelashes and her, um, make her with eyelashes and make her eyebrows thin. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint bucket these um, eyebrows. All right, now let's move on. So here we have the line for her nose. So let's put a nose on her. I usually start off with the nostril, then I go to the center of the nose and then create her other nostril. And you put the other, the outside of her nostrils on her. Okay. And now we're gonna move down to her lips. Now, keep in mind this line here already separates the mouth for us, okay? So we're just gonna make above the line the top lip, okay? And then below the line is gonna be her bottom lip. All right. I'm gonna give her some shape in her lips. I don't want to keep both sides a little consistent, so I'm going to remake the, 
the left side of her face. Okay, so now we have a nose, some lips on our character. And um, now let's shape her head, okay? So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna redraw uh, the oval shape for her head. Now watch what I do here. So while I'm redrawing the head, what I wanna do is shape the head more to what I want it to be. So if you, those of you that have watched my storm videos, you've seen how I was talking about um, when you're drawing, it's almost like molding clay. Same thing applies for when you're using the face structure. It's like you're just molding the character. Okay. Now that this is only possible if you drew light. If you drew dark, if you started off dark, it's going to be hard for you to uh, handle the whole molding process. I'm just going to clean up her lines here a little. bring this in a little bit more because you can look at it and tell like the face is a little bit more uh, lumpier on one side or it comes out a little bit more where the cheek is so you just go on ahead and shake your your character face up okay all right now let's finish off the rest of her head Okay, so now we're gonna put a neck on this character. So whenever you're making a neck for the female character, it's good to make sure you make the, the neck nice and slender. You don't want the neck too wide or broad because then you'll make your female character look a little bit more masculine. We don't want that if you're making it um, a female. So you see how I just made the neck a little thinner. Now let's put some ears on her. So I'll play with the cheek just a little bit more. Okay, so the ears come from where the eye line is, and it's going to end at the nose. Okay, start from the eyes and end at the nose. eyes on the side there just in case somebody come in the room and be like what in the world all right so let's put an air lobe on this character okay so the, the air lobe can be something simple if this is it's too much detail you can always just do this okay so you don't really have to go all out for making the air mold. keep in mind you're the artist so it's nothing wrong with you know putting your own style on the characters okay so now let's decorate the character um, at this point let me remove the line so we can see what she look like okay so from here, you can just decorate your character. So let me just put some hair on her. So for the hair, um, there's just multiple ways of going about putting hair on a character. 
for me, I like to draw the outline of the hair. I know some people struggle with hair, like how do you draw hair? It can be complicated sometimes. Um, it really depends on you. It can be complicated or it can be simple. For me, I like to simplify everything. Um, I don't, you know, I don't waste time with like too much detail. That could be the illustrator in me. But um, yeah, I just like the way the more the less detailed things look. So it doesn't have to be that complicated. I'm gonna erase the eyes that's inside her eyelids. Now, um, let's put a hairstyle on her. So, let's see, I'm just gonna give her like some small, or some small pigtails. Okay, and what I wanna do on this side is make the hair cover up her eye a little bit more. So everything that is under here is going to be erased. I don't know, our face is disappearing. Okay, let's just get rid of her whole eye. No, let me keep some. Alright, so the darkest part of your face are your eyes. It's always going to be your eyes first and then the hair. So what I'm going to do is darken her eyes up some. Adding some shadow and highlights. Okay. And then for the hair, I'm just gonna go on ahead and, um, oh, before I do that, the other thing too for the hair is you can um, add some highlight in her hair. So notice that I'm making like this squiggly shaped line. Okay, it's just that simple here, I have highlight for the hair. And yeah, there's my female character. Um, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of shadow on her neck. And most times I usually make the top lip a little darker. Okay. And if you wanna go in on the eyes, you can probably just add a little bit of color on there. And there you have it. So this is my female character using the basic structure. The basic face structure. There's the basic face structure that I started off with. Okay, and when I finish it, this is what she looks like. Okay. And that's it for today. If you have any questions or if there's anything you would like for me to cover, please let me know. Um, just drop it off in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond and I'll get to those videos that you would like for me to do.
If this lesson has helped you, then hit that like and subscribe button. You can also check out some of my other videos. Feel free to leave a comment or suggestions for future videos you would like to see me do. Thank you for watching and God bless.